This episode brought to you by Noble Gold. Check out this free coin offer for my viewers. There's no denying it. Gold is hot right now. Prices are soaring and experts are predicting even more to come. Right now, Noble Gold is offering a five ounce America the Beautiful coin for any qualified IRA or old 401k rollover. Terms do apply. A solid silver U.S. Mint issued coin celebrating our national parks. Free with every qualifying precious metals IRA or 401k rollover. You can't go wrong with Noble Gold Investments. Call right now. That's 877-646-5347. Make sure to tell them Drone Tech sent you. Or you can go to noblegoldinvestments.com. That's noblegoldinvestments.com. And you can find all those links in the description or pinned comment. And remember, there's always risk in investment and there are no guarantees of any kind. Welcome back viewer, Drone Tech here. In case you missed it, yesterday Speaker of the House Kevin McCarthy hilariously slayed CNN for their lack of credibility on classified documents and the weaponization of the media by the government. After they hired multiple disgraced intelligence directors, Andrew McCabe and James Clapper, then used them to attack Democrats' political opponents. We want to make sure it's equal justice for all. We want to look that it's a weaponization. Now, what, you, are you with CNN, right? Okay, so let's talk about this even further because when somebody weaponizes government and they actually get removed from government, let's take Andrew McCabe, okay, former de deputy. But this is no, a no, different well, let me, case. no, no, let me answer this is the a question. Different set of circumstances, right? Wrong. And today on CNN, Jake Tapper seems to inadvertently prove both those points during an absurd segment where Andrew McCabe, who once again was fired from the FBI for leaking classified information to the media, then lying about it. That's same guy is now paid by CNN to defend Hillary Clinton, someone else who had classified documents she shouldn't have had on an unsecured private server. You know the facts. What are the facts? Well, Dan, as you know, cases come down to facts and evidence, not politics. You know the facts. What, what are the facts? Well, Dan, as you know, cases come down to facts and evidence, not politics. And these two cases could not be more different. So let's talk about what we actually found in the Hillary Clinton email address. Yes, Hillary Clinton email address, email address, email address. Great. Notice how many times the known, lying, corrupt former FBI director says the word facts. He must have gone to the Karen Jean Pierre School of Bullshittery. And they want you to know that it's not about politics. No, no. Even though the guy talking right now got off the hook where any normal person would have been charged and convicted. And these two cases could not be more different on the facts. So let's talk about what we actually found in the Hillary Clinton email case. Yes, Hillary Clinton maintained private servers. Emails went across those servers. Ultimately, she returned 30,000 emails to the Department of Defense, work-related emails. <laughs> You sure about that? In reality, Hillary Clinton had around 30,000 of her emails deleted, which were supposedly recovered from the FBI later. In addition to those, we found thousands more emails that she uh, exchanged with people. The total uh, classified materials seized from that review. Now it's important to remember, those weren't classified documents. That was simply the content of email exchanges that was later deemed to be uh, classified. These weren't documents with, with uh, classified stampings on the tops and bottoms and cover sheets and all that kind of stuff. Okay, first off, have you ever seen this kind of full court defense of a Republican in the media? Ever? No, you haven't. It's always done in defense of Democrats or someone connected to whatever they're running cover for. Characters like Peter Strzok or this disgraced public servant. Second, Hillary had no right to that information, much less on an unsecured private server, which Comey admitted was likely accessed by foreign actors. And we already know a lot of that classified information ended up on the laptop of felon Anthony Weiner. Which is exactly why these are worse than paper documents, because those have to be copied, faxed, mailed, or delivered face to face. Kind of weird that none of that is mentioned during this segment. Could it have happened? No. But what we didn't have was evidence that Hillary Clinton had intentionally exchanged or withheld classified information. Um, and that's just what we could and could not prove at the end of the day. Oh, really, fool? The reason that's all you could or could not prove might have something to do with the fact her underlings destroyed physical devices and wiped all data from hard drives. 17,500 17, emails that she lied about turning over. 
the server wipe. Within weeks of there being a report that she had a private server, it was wiped. They destroyed Blackberries with hammers in the State Department. That's not what that's won the president. Evan, 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 hold on. Can you fact check that? Hang on, 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 Evan Perez. Hammers, fact check that for me, please, on the fly. Uh, yes, they did, Brooke. I, as, Thanks, as, uh, <laughs> as they did. you mentioned. Which seems to show intent to cover up the truth. But instead, it's just proof that this isn't a two-tiered system of justice. Okay, so next, Jake Tapper goes after Lindsey Graham for defending Donald Trump. And you just have to see it for yourself. So, okay, first of all, just as a factual matter, charges under the Espionage Act do not necessarily mean you actually committed espionage. I mean, I'm not a lawyer and I know that because- And, and you can guarantee that he knows that Oh, well, he knows well, that, of course, right? but because it's called, I mean, leaking documents to the press, you can be charged, depending on how serious the documents are, with under the Espionage Act, but that's not espionage. Anyway, it's, he knows better. What? I love how McKay just shrugs after Tapper says, quote, you could be charged for leaking classified documents to the press. That's exactly what McCabe did and was fired for. So of course he gets covered, hired, and paid by real journalists who are supposed to be a check on power. This deceptive state propaganda was sponsored by Dove and Leaf Filter. Don't spend your money on people that are destroying this country. All right, folks, that's all I have for that one. Thanks for watching. I'd appreciate it if you hit that like button, share subscribe and leave a comment to continue the discussion thanks a lot i'll see you all in the next one